I've been trying to make this video for six months. Not because like it was like difficult. I wasn't able to get like the footage like from the show to actually put it in an editor and, and actually edit the thing. So I've, I've just had the whole script for this video just in my notes since June. We're going to take a look at this episode of House Hunters called Fancy or Fixer in Rayleigh. We're gonna meet the couple that is looking for a house and probably make fun of them. We have Mikey and Amber. They recently moved to Rayleigh, North Carolina. They need to find a house. So we're gonna see what kind of house they are able to agree on. You want a glass of wine? Yeah, sure. I'm 22 years old. I'm in marketing and I teach painting classes on the weekend. I'm 23 and I'm in tech sales and a rapper. Little legal disclaimer, I'm gonna be making fun of some of the people that appear in this show. These particular people, don't sue me. I know you may want to. I know you keep your lawyer probably on retainer even though his teeth are perfect. But I really need you to exercise self-control and, and, and just, just don't sue me. It's all in jest here. We're all here for gits and shiggles. I want to. I, fe I feel like Mikey will sue me. I think Mikey's gonna fucking try to sue me. If I don't put that legal disclaimer that it's all in good fun, I feel like this guy okay, is gonna feel so personally attacked. No, it is it is a legal disclaimer. No, it, it's gotta be. Because I need him to uh, to know that I'm aware that this is, it's, it's for commentary purposes. So this is, I'm not attacking anybody's character. I'm just sort of making fun of the way that they've appeared on the show as they are portrayed by HGTV. So I just want to make it clear that nobody, you don't, you can't sue me. You can try. But it's, nothing's going to happen. And you're going to have a really bad rap, aside from the ones that you've written. I was uh, writing a lyric upstairs. Oh, yeah? Want to hear it? Yeah. Seems in this democracy, winning is a hypocrisy, and I'm a liar, so I guess that you could catch me profiting. He's so proud of himself for that, when he really shouldn't be. Why would you choose that one? Why, why out of all the raps that you could have chosen, that you could have written a past any number of decades, you chose the rap that makes you sound like like Lynn manuel Miranda Cosgrove. Like, it, that's like if you... It's like if you were a sculptor on an episode of, like, Cribs, and you were like, let me show you the sculpture I made. It looks exactly like a piece of shit. Uh, I, I put a lot of work into making it look exactly like a piece of shit. Like, like, if you're on national television, why would you choose that to be the, 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 the your introduction to these people as a rapper? Now, I have done some research on this person, the rapper guy. He doesn't seem like that bad of a person. He seems like a generally decent person. Um, normally, I like to assume that everybody that I like make fun of on this channel uh, are assholes in real life, so I, I don't feel as bad. You know, he's a pretty decent guy. I'm going to have to clown on him for the rapping thing because he's like the spitting image of like mayonnaise on white bread. So I'm, I'm going to have to give him a little grief. I'm not saying white people can't rap. They do. Most of them shouldn't, but they do. It's just, he is one of the majority shunned. Growing up, I didn't know nursery rhymes. I knew Jay-Z rhymes. Did I give that mother of a newborn baby the big book of baby nursery rhymes or the CD booklet for Jay-Z's reasonable doubt? I never thought I'd be dating a rapper. Oh, don't worry. You're not. You're, you're dating a rapper the same way that, like, Jeff Dunham's wife is married to a comedian. Like, it's not, you're not, don't. It's okay. I think we fell pretty fast for each other. Now a year and a half later, we're buying a house together down in Raleigh. So they've been dating for like a year and a half, which, you know, isn't like a, like a super short amount of time. Um, but if I was with somebody for less than half the time that people spend waiting for the next Olympics, yeah, I might wait a little bit longer before I, I buy a house with them. But you know, that that's just me. PD, come here, good boy. He was so distracted writing his raps, he forgot the last letter to name his dog, Kevin. I think we need something turnkey because I don't think I've ever mowed a lawn. I love the little descriptor for like what they want in the house because his says turnkey, which it's it kind of sounds like the person editing the episode wanted to call him like a turkey, but they just fucked up the keyboard. And so now he's like turnkey. Also, when I first watched this episode, I was looking at that glass. I don't know if it was just like because it was like lower quality or something, but I was like, what is in that glass? I thought it was like some sort of delicious sludge. We financially need to say under 250. 
I think that we could easily go up to 275. My family's from Portugal. Coming to America, they had to work really hard. So for me, money means something. All right, shoot for the stars, babe. You got <laughs> it, come on. <laughs> I'd like an affluent neighborhood. It appreciates over time. My father made the house that I grew up in. Definitely got me acquainted with using different tools. Hey, I was at that construction site. That little girl fucking tripped me. Like, I had a Band-Aid for at least a week. Every time I showered, I had to get a new Band-Aid. I went through like a box of Band-Aids in a week because that little thing tripped me. I think we need something turnkey because I don't think I've ever mowed a lawn and I think I need my tub. Tub is not negotiable. We can always add a tub. Wait, just get a tub, spend a little bit more. So he wants to spend money on a house that is more expensive, but is like ready to go right out of the gate, which I get. The house purchasing is stressful, I'm sure. So you probably don't want to exacerbate yourself too much. You just want to be able to, you know, walk through the door and everything is fine. Um, whereas she is okay with a cheaper place as long as it is less expensive because she's got student loans and stuff to think about. But she's also okay with doing some work to make it how they want to be. But if you're renovating, that can very quickly become way more expensive than you might have, like, thought it was going to be at first like it could turn into like a money pit situation which is where like tom hanks just like comes and just fucking destroys your house so we're going to see you know if they can compromise uh the first house we're going to look at the real estate agent says uh is more like amber style because it's cheaper needs a little bit of work done so mikey's probably going to have some fucking problems with that here's what i called the little bitch compilation this is all the little complaints he has about this perfectly fine house so please enjoy the little bitch compilation uh, it's a little small. I mean, it really doesn't have anywhere for coats or there's not like a closet here or anything. It is uh, flooding a little bit. The kitchen, it's a little small. This room is gross. I mean, yeah. a little dated is These needs a new nice vanity. Dated. That could be fixed uh, in a day. Oh, 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 watch your step. That definitely needs to be replaced. <laughs> that, this whole carpet needs to be replaced. It's got a big tub, but it doesn't have a separate tub. It needs a whole new top. We get a house like this, and then we can't move in for a month. We're going to have weeks of renovation before we can move in. You can make it what you guys want. Exactly. What Amber wants. <laughs> That's really what it is. Oh, my God. That's a scummy move right there. Like That's like... That's like when like your your sibling like picks where to go for dinner and the other sibling throws a little tamper tantrum because they want to go to Applebee's but you're going to Red Robin. Amber's really concerned about her student loans, but when it comes down to it, that student loan debt is more likely to get paid off from the appreciation of the house. So we should get a house that's going to hold its value or go up more than anything. We could just spend just a little bit more and not have to deal with that. You're no fun at all. Why would we pay 210 to do all of this work when we could just up the price a little bit and get everything that we already want? So he's going to bring this up a few times. He keeps talking about like the appreciation of the house and, and not, not just like liking it, um, but like the build of its value over time. Like as housing costs increase and fuck over poor people, people like him who were able to get a home loan and buy a house, uh, the value of the house goes up as housing becomes more scarce. Unless you're like selling your house every couple of years or like doing what's called a cash out refinancing. So you basically refinance your housing loan and you're able to sort of like cash in on like the difference in its value. I don't think you can do that that many times. And so unless he's doing it like every year, that, that's not really gonna help with like your student loans and stuff. So I don't know if just he doesn't understand it or maybe I don't understand it. I'm, I'm not an expert. Take both of what we say with a grain of salt. I would not get your housing and financial advice from a wannabe rapper on House Hunters. So now they're looking at what the real estate agent thinks Mikey's gonna like more because it's it's more expensive. But of course, I'm sure he's gonna find things wrong with this one. Before we get into that, actually, I, I wanted to, I found there was a commercial that, that was part of the, like the streaming version of it because it was streamed with ads. And it was a commercial from Match.com. But like the whole point of the commercial is that like my adult relationship, like watch the commercial, We'll, we'll reconvene and then we'll discuss what we found and we'll compare notes. We are talking about my dating life, my adult dating life. Dating an adult makes me feel happy because I get to be with somebody that uh, has a grip on their life. We're like, this is what I need. This is what I want. Do you have that? It's about respect, openness, compassion. It's not just 
one great romantic act. It's about being there every single day. It makes you feel like, hey, this is worth me putting my time and energy. It's worth me opening up my heart. Let's go for it. Ready for match? Adults date better. So I'm not wrong. I'm not the only one assuming that they're implying that if you're not using match.com, you're a pedophile, right? That's not just me. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> they just, every time they're like, I, I like dating adults because it's, well, you, you're, th you look 30. You should <laughs> want to date an adult. If you didn't, Chris Hansen and you are probably going to have to have a little chat. It's not going to, probably not going to end well. It's just, I mean, this is what we get for like encouraging like clapback marketing of like the Wendy's Twitter account. Like now we're getting commercials where it's like, if you use our competitor, you're just a fucking pedophile. I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. So anyway, back to the show. They're going to look at like Mikey's Choice. It's a house that looks like it's been colored by like a child or, or maybe like Wes Anderson's like moodier brother or something. And this is $60,000 more than the last house that they were looking at. It's got probably got to be like perfect, uh, you know, for, for that much more money. But of course, again, he finds things wrong with it. It's laminate. <laughs> Not, I can't even like sit in this. I just feel like I'm sitting on the floor. <laughs> We have to move everything for guests. I just feel like that's a lot. It's just aggravating watching him scoff at these like houses that cost over a quarter of a million dollars. Like bro, like pickers can't be choosers. I guess pickers are picking. So they are, pickers are choosing, but beggars can't be choosers. And, and he's not really a, a beg. He's not like begging. Go fuck yourself. A place like Carrie is great because you know that like you're gonna get your money back if you invest it. I feel confident spending 270 knowing that we'll be able to get that back. There he goes again about the appreciation of that. I am I going crazy here? I I don't know which one of us is wrong. I mean, I'm getting my information from Google, but I will completely admit to being wrong if, if somebody can tell me how I'm wrong. I don't think you're gonna be getting a check in the mail every week when your house price goes up. So it's not like you're actively able to use that. It's not like Cole's cash. But anyway, back to the house, despite the things wrong that he finds with it, he still likes it for the most part, but Amber's very uncomfortable because it's way out of her price range. She wanted to stay like below 220, you know, and now they're going well over 40 grand of that. So probably not gonna be this one, but you know, they have one more house to look at. So hopefully they can find more to compromise on and fucking pick a house already. I want a house with a big backyard where everything is moving Ready up in the money if necessary And Amber's in it just wanting to do work With a good price she purchases the bones that make it hers Aspiring rapper Mikey wants to spend big on their first home She sincerely looks done like with this whole thing I, I wonder if she's ever honest with them I wonder if she's ever like Babe that trash was fucking garbage Or do you think like every time she's like Oh yes honey uh, that rhyme you just made up about the cottage cheese making the cheese monger the real cheddar. That's bombastic. God, I hope somebody's fucking honest with them. Uh, so we finally crawled our way to the third house and hopefully they're able to compromise on this one. It's a bit of an in-between house uh, from the last ones that we looked at. Um, it's like not as expensive as the one that he likes. It's a little bit more expensive than the one that she likes, so it's like in between. It's a colonial, which Mikey likes because he grew up in a colonial. So it seems like, you know, they may be able to compromise on this one. But as soon as they walk through the door, Mikey starts complaining. Yeah, it's not very open when you walk in, but... Yeah. Are these real uh, hardwood? So they're laminate. Ah, uh, that's oh, a little disappointing. Okay. That broke my heart a little yeah. bit. Don't the white cabinets make it look so big in here? So big? I... I don't think the cabinets make, I think it's the biggest kitchen we've seen, but I don't think it's mm -hmm. it's the cabinets, you know? This is so small. What if we knock down this wall right here? Extend it out, but it's not load bearing. Uh, first of all, it might be load bearing. We don't know that. And second of all, there's like electricity in there. Yeah, but it would make this room so much bigger. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, $10,000 right. later, it'll make the room look bigger. It's Keep just... in mind, it is listed for two thirty nine. dollars The guy who wants to pay more for our house is now picky on doing- Busting the down walls, yes. Amber wants to tear down a wall, um, and, and Mikey's not having it. I think he's under the assumption that it's gonna be him swinging the hammer. Nobody's expecting you to do any physical work or physical labor, uh, so you don't have to worry about like injuring your microphone hand. I'm assuming 
that you're gonna hire somebody to do this for you. And as she said, even if it's $10,000 more, you'll still be well below the price of the last house, which you were still okay with buying. So you can invest that $20,000 into other parts of the house that you know you may still not like as much. I was so excited about this house. And then like the second that I came in, it was just sort of underwhelming. So he really doesn't like the house. He thought it was gonna, but he really doesn't. So they basically have to choose between the last two. So there's gonna be a lot of compromising one way or the other. So let's see what house they pick. Oh, you think you could help paint, huh? Oh yes, you're very handsome. We chose the ranch in Nightdale. We chose this house because it had high ceilings inside the living room, a tub for Mikey, a fenced-in backyard for Kiwi. I mean, it, it just worked out perfect. There you have it. They went with the lesser of the not not so evils. Good to know that he knows how to compromise. So when I was doing research for this episode back in June, I found his Instagram page. And since then, since June, since I started working on this episode, he's lost 200 followers and he took house hunters out of his bio. So that leads me to think that like he took it out of his bio and then everybody who's following him from house hunters, like saw him on their Instagram feed one day, like who the fuck is this? They go to his page like, I don't know who this guy is. If only he had some descriptor of what I may have seen him from, but alas, he does not unfollow. And then he also posted a picture of his Spotify wrapped like as an artist. And I noticed that the, the hours don't add up. It says 4.6 thousand hours, but only like 13,000 streams. But if it was like 4.6 thousand hours and with an average of like two minutes per song, um, that would be like over 276,000 streams. So I commented, I commented on his post pointing out the inaccuracy. And of course, he took it upon himself to think that this wasn't an error in the hours, but it was an error in the streams and Spotify is trying to fuck him out of streaming money. So you can kind of see the ego that this guy has. He can't even think that there was a mistake that that would keep him in a lower end of a pool. So that was Mikey and Amber's episode of House Hunters. Again, I want to reiterate that this was all in good fun, all in jest. I'm not attacking anybody personally, so stop trying to sue me. I see you. Put the phone down. Stop.